chef Christian Kruger is 100% focused. It's the toughest competition he's ever entered. 24 candidates are competing in the Bocuse d'Or in Lyon, France, all of them among their country's top chefs. Each team has exactly five hours and 35 minutes to prepare one fish and one meat dish. Trout and chicken were decided on well in advance, and fennel was added as an obligatory vegetable the day before the contest. Points are awarded for taste, presentation, and technique. We're aiming for a place among the top 10. Anything better than that would be great. Back home in Mannheim, Christian Kruger's team spent a year and a half practicing in a kitchen just like the one in the contest. The coaching team is also made up of star chefs. In the last session, they fine-tuned the workflows and timing. Okay. At first, it took them 12 hours for the two dishes. Now they can do it in half that time. They can practice to perfection, but at the contest, anything can happen. You might cut yourself and get disqualified, or you get nervous. You've got three or four thousand people watching you. Fish and vegetables rolled up in balls. It's complicated, but the presentation is a prime factor for the jury. After all, dining is an experience. Fourteen plates have to be served. Patrick Jaros observes the dress rehearsal. Later, he'll be Germany's jury member in Lyon. If you make it into the top three, you've earned a knighthood among chefs. As soon as they step off the podium, they've got five or six headhunters waiting with prime contracts. Winning here is a worldwide accreditation for top gastronomy. For the chicken dish, the team gets innovative. For the side dish, Christian Kruger molds chicken feet out of cream of vegetable. There are countries whose candidates took a year and a half off. They work in advance, so they've done nothing but practice with the Bocuse d'Or every day. But we have to work and earn a living. The German team has invested some 200,000 euros in their effort. Some other candidates have put a million euros on it. The practice conditions vary, but everyone has a chance. The decisive factor is taste. If you want to win, you have to be original. You have to prove you can master the techniques and that you work very cleanly and hygienically. Almost four hours later, everything is going as planned. The German team's fans have come all the way from Mannheim. There's a wonderful audience, a great atmosphere. Everything's going fine. The team practiced the meat dish over and over again. They hope to earn points in Lyon with extravagance. The chicken meat is hidden inside an egg with a shell of baked mushrooms. The fans are even allowed to have a taste. I'm amazed. To me, it's heaven on earth. But it's the jury's opinion that counts. Genuine works of art are served up at 10-minute intervals. The jury samples the dishes and judges taste, texture and appearance. That evening, the winner is announced. Le Bocuse d'Or est attribué à la Norvège. Norway, it's the fifth time they've won. Only France has done better. The Germans are bitterly disappointed. 11th place isn't exactly the best place. First place would have been the best place. The Bocuse d'Or, a top accolade in the world of gourmet cuisine.